Hello guys, what's up? Uh, today we are going to be talking about uh, scale, dimensions, unities, things that are very important and as I said before it makes Max user got a little bit confused when it goes to Blender. I was talking with a friend of mine today and I have to thank him because he was the one that showed me that this is something important that I should be talking about it and uh, yeah thank you thank you Wendell uh, he's the one he's the guy that showed me that this can be a little bit confused for max users and I'm gonna show you the difference between here and in blender right basically you know already that so if you threw a box here max as always I'm gonna start to show in the dif different examples. <laughs> I always use a box, but anyways, doesn't matter. Okay, you go here to customize, right? You go to Unity setup. Now Unity setup, you see here that uh, basically. Oh shit! Sorry, guys. I'm using the computer. Okay, you can see here that Max has a system unit and it has a metric. And it has a display unit. The, the display unit is what you use here in your display. This guy here is just for you to use whatever you want. It really doesn't matter. And this guy is what matters a lot. So I just keep like that because this is the default. And here you can change to the metric, the fraction of inches, uh, uh, feet, and all of that. You know all of that, right? Okay. Basically, what happens when you create a primitive in Max? You have the possibility of set up the the size here, right? And then you set up the size here. You have your size here. You know exactly what the size of the object is, right? And this is what happens with when the primitive is still a primitive, right? And as soon as you start to model with it uh, or using an edit poly or whatever as soon as you start to modify this you know unless you came back and you lose your edit poly you lose this right because for example you convert it to editable poly is not a primitive anymore is a uh, one editable object right so you move here move there it doesn't matter right and that's the thing what my what was driving my friends a little bit confused it was because he was coming here to blender right let's remove this guy he was creating a, a cube and as you see here every time you create uh, one object in blender it shows you this little uh, window here and then you can set up your location translation rotation you know all of that and the basic setups but as soon as you click outside right is the same as if this guy had become an editable poly it's as if you have translated this into editable poly because you cannot go into your primitives and change it anymore right this is the object you just have to model with it but when you see here in blender and in item right you can see that they have the, the it has the dimensions and it has the scale right basic what is that this is the scale object related to the unity the system unit the system unit right it's one by default in blender every time you scale this up you know or whatever axis you scale this you are scaling the object the object right and this makes this makes you lose the characteristics of your mesh based on the unity of the system right that's why they always recommend you to keep changing your mesh like it's always good you keep changing your mesh in editable pol in edit poly right like because you preserve your skill as one you don't change your scale like if you want to scale you go here select everything and then you scale because you preserve here but my friend thought at the beginning that you could put here whatever dimension 
right? Wherever you put here. And you wouldn't change it here. And what is the big issue of the of this? Because as this is just for visual. Just this is just what you don't have here anymore after you convert your object into whatever into your uh, your object right you have these dimensions here you have these dimensions here but you don't have the dimensions let's say that how can i say that in meters anymore right you have the dimensions in unity they scale it's the scale of the object is the scale of the object right but here in blender it shows you a kind of dimension to get you to orientate you how the how big is this object you know but this is actually related to the scale whatever you change here you are changing the scale as well proportionally proportionally you know and that's very important 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 because what because of what i'm gonna show you right now if you select this two f this face here for example right let's delete these guys and let's go here in 3d max let's go in 3d max right let's do the same okay we have this here right awesome and then my friend was a little bit confused because because he was applying the modify solidify which is similar of a shell in max right so you solidify your object and then this is gonna be the shell right you click even thickness and then you should preserve uh, the same thick everywhere but you can see here it's not the same thick right and then say okay this is confused why it doesn't work doesn't work but no the idea is the same as 3d max because if if you change your scale right this object is not proportional with the environment in blender which should be one 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 right if you see here is one two or whatever according to how you scale up your object right if you go here into max right now let's say we had scale up we had scale already right awesome it's gonna happen the same thing if you go here and then you press a shell right and then you try to shell it the same thing is gonna happen let's ah, ah. let's do this here stretching corners so basically it's the same idea why this is happening why this is happening because it lost the proportion the proportion with the environment so emax you should go here and reset the x form reset the x form of your object right you reset your x form let's put the shell ball so it's going to be better you see you see after you reset your x form your object gets correct collapse let's collapse that so now the scale is a hundred the scale comes back to the original max uh, unity right the same thing here in blender oh sorry guys oops the same thing here in blender right if you go here and then you press ctrl a ctrl a right you go here and then you have all these this is the same as reset x4 but you can reset uh, just the rotation the scale you have to you can reset everything apply all and you can reset just the scale let's do that and see what happens or oh, you reset the scale it fix everything because now it's one 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 again right so in this case if you want to play around with the dimensions of a box here let's say let's create a box a cube for example right a good practice is uh, if you change the dimensions here because you want to put whatever dimension 
it's in your mind right five meters or two or whatever after you do that after you do that control a reset the scale to get it back to one again and then your object now is it's very much proportional or another thing that you can do is that you can let's put this right here you can go to the edit mode right pressing tab pressing tab let me put this guy I always forget to put this guy on and then you press tab right tab go here and then you can go here in, on your overheights this is the overhide I'm gonna explain you this in another video choose this option here this option is about measurements so this shows you in blender what the measures are for example angle right it it shows you I don't know if you guys can see I don't know if you guys can see but it's showing you here 90 degrees because is the angle re related to this edge 90 degrees right it shows you here it's showing you here right it's very small but you can change this on a blender setup and anyways anyways if you want to change this if you want to if you want to model here and see uh, the measures happening there's another way you can select this and then as soon as you start to slide it if you is not the measure is the length you put the length not the angle and then you see the length right so you start to change it and then you see four meters is it shows you in real time the distance of all the edge you see so and then you can set up your objects in a in a way you you want it right for example if you want this to be four meters four meters or oh, this let's say this to be uh, to be two meters let's say as soon as they start to move these whatever edges play around with this movement is gonna show the, the measure the distance right so you start to go down and then you see that it's changing right two meters two meters and if you want to go something more precise right you press shift and then your it the sensitiveness keeps like way way better so you can go here press two if you want to put this guy as three you just just slide up to three and then you can check it out here three three two you see that's another way that's why because blender doesn't have the primitives that keep you you can you create the primitives you can you can change the the settings of your primitive but as soon as you go outside and click uh, somewhere else you lose that you lose that uh, it's, as in, it's the same as if you have converted to editable poly right in max that's why that's why that's the reason you don't have a setting here so which you can change the dimensions of your objects without changing the scale right that's up for now I think this clarify things for you this affects everything uh, resetting uh, no 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 resetting the scale affects everything as well as uh, resetting X form here in max affecting affects everything including the UV map right that's why sometimes you apply an UVW here and it doesn't apply correctly because your object it's out of scale you scale down like this you know and this is wrong you know you don't do that if you want to do that it's better you go here in your edit poly select everything and then you modify because when you get back it's gonna be the same right okay guys it's up for today I hope it helped you. See you next video. Bye.